Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel for all things mommy, wife, and life. My name is Chessa. If you are new to my channel, I have just given birth to my second baby girl. My first daughter is four years old, so I have been through the newborn stage twice and I wanted to share with you my favorite products for the newborn stage. Luckily, these products that I'm going to show you do grow with baby, so it's not like you're going to be spending a lot of money just on the newborn phase for them to grow out of it really quickly. If these items do grow with baby and I'm super excited to share them with you. Before we get into it, please like and subscribe. I post videos every Friday, so be sure to check back and hit that bell notification so you can be informed for all future videos. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So these are in no particular order. The first item I'm gonna share with you guys is this Passy cover. It is called a Keepsy cover, I believe, and I'll link everything down below so you guys can check it out. This thing is awesome because it doesn't just fit just one type of pacifier, it fits a if it's a number of different brands of pacifiers. To go along with that, I actually got this second thing in my bump box. It's this little lamb and it connects to a bunch of different pacifiers as well. So you can clip it to any kind of pacifier that you like and it has like a little like space for that and it's Velcro. You can put it in the washing machine really easily, which I love. And it also has like a little rattle on it and I think it's so cute. Next is a Hakka. I did not have this with my first daughter and I do not know if this was like a new product after I've already went through that stage with my daughter or if I just never knew about it because these things are awesome. I have two different kinds. So at first I have like the breast pump style one and then I also have like the milk catcher ones. Um, they both work great. I think I definitely prefer the pump style just because it gets out more milk. But if you're ever just experiencing letdown and you wanna just keep those suckers in there so it doesn't go into the breast pad, you can save that milk as well. The other ones are great too. So I love these ones. Definitely check them out. They're super affordable and these are definitely a holy grail item for me. The baby stage would not be complete with talking about diapers and wipes. Obviously you're going to need those. I'm not really loyal to any type of diaper or wipe. However, that being said, I do really love the Huggies wipes. The texture is so soft and the wipe is so thick. It feels really luxurious. I know that's a weird thing to say about a baby wipe, but they really do feel luxurious. So I definitely am partial to those wipes. However, I will just use any old wipe, it doesn't matter. And I do really like the up and up diapers because they are affordable or the Costco ones. I'll go with either of those if I had my own choice to purchase just because they are cheaper, but I will use any old diaper. You are definitely going to want some type of travel system or car seat or stroller. I had just repurchased the Kiko travel system for the second time. I used it with my first daughter and I absolutely loved it. It was really easy to use. The stroller was super easy to break down. The click and connect car seat is awesome because it clicks in and out of the car seat to the stroller and back again and it's just really nice. I really like that one. It's affordable, it's a really good option. You don't need to re-inflate uh, the tires or anything like that, and that ride is still really smooth. That being said, I would love to have like the City Select. That would be like my ultimate want for a stroller just because it's awesome and you can transition it from one to two babies. And that would have been my choice this time around. It is still on the pricier side, and I just kind of figured I would go with what I know, and I just stuck with the, cheap, the Kiko car seat and a stroller again. They do last a long time, but the one that I had just was kind of thrashed and it was going to be going through its expiration date in like an, another year. So I just figured we would get a new one. Next is what I call my nose picking kit. I know this sounds super weird, but I think all of these items are really essential to have for a congested newborn. It's really hard to hear your baby struggle to breathe um, through like different kinds of congestion. And so I am kind of weirdly obsessed with like picking my daughter's nose just because I really don't want her to struggle to breathe because I know how uncomfortable that is for me and I don't want them to have to suffer through it. So these items are essential for me. First one is the Oogie Bear. This is what I call my nose picker because it has two different ends. And if you're having like a stubborn booger that you can't get out with your finger, that's like in there just a tad bit deeper. I like to use the little Oogie Bear just to kind of pick it out for, for me. Next two items are from Frida Baby. First is the saline spray, which is kind of like Nasacort in like the spray aspect of it, but it's just saline. So it's super natural for the baby. And all you do is kind of just take a little spray into the nose and it loosens everything up for you. And then that brings me to my second item, which I swore up and down that I would never use because it, because it is so nasty. And it's the, the nose Frida like snot sucker, super gross. And it still kind of makes me gag a little bit, but um, it's not like you're getting any snot into your mouth, but it does really, really work. It works way better than those little bulby thingies that you can get. 
I personally think it works a lot better. So all of these combined make the nose picker kit and I think that all of these are essential and none of them are too expensive. Next up is a sleep sack. I think that these like swaddle types are really awesome to have with your baby. The first one I love is because you can have baby's arms in or out, up or down. And I love it and it has like a little tank top style. It's like a wearable blanket. So the baby is going to be really comfortable and safe and warm when they're in the crib. You don't have to worry about loose covers covering them, which is so scary the first year. So those are my two different types of swaddles. Um, I will obviously put them up here so you guys can see them. This second one, I can't remember the name, but I'll put it up here on the screen. Um, I, it's a nice one to transition into, especially in the summer months because it's a little bit more lightweight. The baby can have um, his or her hands like up to their face like this, but still be covered. Um, and then you can also zip those ones off so that way it can be a tank top if baby doesn't like her arms, his or her arms up like that. So those are my very two favorite ones. I like the one that has like the Velcro one. I think that's the Halo sleep sack, the one that has like the little Velcro one. And then you can keep baby's arms in or out as well. Um, my baby prefers to have it underneath her arms so that way she can have her hands up and free. Next is the Boppy Lounger. I love this thing. I didn't have one with my first daughter and I don't know how I would have ever lived without it because I absolutely love this little baby lounger. I put it everywhere I go so that way if baby is awake, she can stay with me and I can kind of talk to her while I'm doing stuff. So I'll put her on my kitchen island. Obviously, I'm never going to leave her there by herself. I love the baby lounger because I can just have baby everywhere with me. And I don't necessarily have to hold her. So my back has been absolutely killing me trying to hold and rock the baby 24 seven. So if I'm just playing with my other daughter, I can't and I can't just hold baby in my arms. I can put her in the baby lounger and baby is safe and not laying on the floor, which also will help prevent from getting those flat marks because baby is elevated a little bit and it's on a cushion, so she's not gonna get those flat marks as easily. Another thing that I've used with my daughter, my first daughter, and now I'm definitely using this with my second daughter is this baby um, sound machine. It has a bunch of different types of melodies that you can play. It also has white noise. You can have it on a timer or you can play it indefinitely. Um, it also has like a little projector so it can project the night sky onto the ceiling, which is really cute. And this also doubles as a nightlight. This makes like waking up in the middle of the night really awesome because I can see baby's face without having to like get up out of my bed and make sure that baby's still breathing. I can just kind of peek over and I know that baby is safe. So this thing is awesome. Used with my first daughter and I even got the portable version this time around which I'm super excited to use if we decide to go anywhere. <laughs> Next, you're gonna need a baby monitor. Amcrest did send me this baby monitor a long time ago and I absolutely love it. You can control which um, motion the camera is going to be in so you can kind of zoom over, which um, the first one that I had, I think it was like summer something. Uh, I think it was just a summer um, baby monitor. And I will say that I love this one so much more and because you can control where the camera goes. So if it's not at the perfect angle, you can switch it up. You can turn on, you can like zoom in a little bit. You can zoom out. You can do the volume. It tells you the temperature of the room as well to make sure that baby's not too hot. You can even talk to them if you're out of the room as well and you hear baby fussing, you can at least, you can use the little sound thing to make sure that baby's okay and talk to them to soothe them. Next are these vitamin D drops with probiotics. If you're breastfeeding only, you need to supplement with vitamin D drops for your baby because you are not producing enough for baby. Um, and this brand I have been using and I actually really like it because it also has some probiotics which helps with baby's tummy as well. And they are all both built in so you don't need to buy two separate ones. My absolute favorite sleepers um, are the sleepers that have the top and bottom zipper. So with if you're doing night, to, if you're doing changes, you don't have to take baby out of the entire onesie. You can just zip up from the bottom and then you have access to the diaper area. So you're able to change diapers without getting them out of their whole getup. I think that these are essential while you are doing anything diaper related, don't F with snaps because snaps suck and they take forever. <laughs> Definitely look out for the onesies that have the bottom zipper because that's money right there. Also, you're gonna want onesies or the sleepers with the mittens. Don't mess with baby mittens because I will tell you 100%, they suck, they fall off, you will lose them and they are not worth your time or money in my opinion. Make sure that you're getting the onesies that have the built-in um, and so that way you're not losing them. They're always there and they are never going to fall off. Next, you're gonna want booties, um, little baby booties with Velcro 
for the same reasons. Obviously, you're going to want to buy baby socks as well, but these little booties make it super awesome. They Velcro on and they do not fall off for the most part. So if you are not going to get a crib, I definitely highly suggest that you get a pack and play because it is a affordable option. It's obviously portable, so you can take it wherever. It's not gonna be big and bulky like this one. Um, I actually have a pack and play downstairs where baby will sleep downstairs when I'm down there and I don't wanna bring the baby up to the room. And then at night, baby does sleep in this crib. I don't mess with bassinets because they grow out of them so quickly. This works just as fine because my bed is literally right there. <laughs> because of COVID, I'm going to put this one high as a priority on your list. Um, you need a baby thermometer. Um, don't mess with like the rectal thermometers, although that is the, I guess, most accurate way to get a temperature on a newborn, but obviously who wants to do that? I have a temporal thermometer from iHealth. It's very affordable. And I love it because all you do is just like press one button and you get a really accurate reading. I've tried other ones like the safety first temporal one and it sucks. I will never ever buy that one ever again. And I will highly discourage anybody else from buying it as well. So I really like this new one that I got for this baby. It's awesome and you get a really accurate reading. Next is a little baby gym. I put this one on my registry and my sister-in-law graciously bought it for me and it is awesome. I love that it comes with these little black and white books. So baby has some brain stimulation. There uh, it comes with a bunch of little like toys you can hang from the mobile, which is really nice. And baby seems to really like this. So, and I definitely think that you need some type of baby gym for your baby. I also love that that comes with like a little tummy time pillow, but I did actually buy it or I put another tummy time pillow on my registry that somebody got me and I'm glad because it's a little bit higher up. I love that it has like a little bit more of wedge space so baby can lift up their head a little bit more and uh, have more space to like kind of move it around. Next is this baby uh, nail file kit. I absolutely love this. It comes with a bunch of different colored files that you put on this battery operated device and it goes with the baby's age. So for the newborn age, you're gonna be using the yellow one and then it gives you like a little book to tell you which ones you can use. Um, as they get older, there's also one there for mom, so you can you can even use this, which is really nice. This is really affordable and was an absolute game changer that I'm so glad that I got. Sorry, my light just gave out on me, so I really do apologize for the lighting now because my ring light just died. But we'll make this next part quick. So for bath time, you're going to want a baby bath with a sling. I think these are the best for newborns and they can obviously grow with this baby bath, which is great. Next is the grass drying rack. I didn't think that I was gonna be using this until like baby is like a little bit older or we're you know, giving bottles a little bit more or something like that. But honestly, this thing is awesome. I've been using it to even store my breast, my breast milk like bottles in and it's really good to like for pacifiers and stuff like that. I think this is definitely a necessity for everybody. It's, it's super easy to clean and I love having it. And last but not least, I think that you need some kind of memory clay so that way you can get your baby's footprint or handprint and that way you'll always have it forever. Someone got me this one off my registry and I loved it, but I think that you definitely need to have some type of memory clay so that way you can get a footprint of your baby. It's really nice to be able to get a little footprint of your newborn. The items that I wanted to mention is this mom's one line a day book. I love this book. It's a five year memory book and you can write just a little line about your kid one every single day for five years and then you have the other years to look back on. I started this with my other daughter and I'm so glad I did and I wanted to do it again for my second daughter. Next is uh, some kind of breastfeeding pillow. This one I'm not super crazy about. I don't think it's high enough. I think that my breast friend works a lot better but I just have this one to show you and I think that you need at least some type of a breastfeeding pillow. And that's everything for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to hit that red subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.